Hello, um, my name is Beth Marshall and I wanted to, whilst I have it fresh in my mind, just do a little um, video to explain how I was able to get Microsoft Edge Chromium browser working with the latest Selenium, which is currently Selenium 4.0.5 alpha. Um, get that all up and running and actually executing a test. So if I just quickly show you this running so you know I'm not fibbing, this does actually open Edge. It's a very basic test that Carlos Kidman has written on his excellent TAU course. We can see here the test has passed. So how did we get this to happen? Because I found online tutorials horribly confusing. A lot of them are written for Selenium 3 and not Selenium 4. So they ask you to install all sorts of things that you don't actually need. Um, the thing that I found most helpful was the Microsoft Docs page. So if you look for the use WebDriver Chromium for test automation, that is very clear. So you first thing you do is you get Microsoft Edge Chromium and you check what version you have by going to about Microsoft Edge. I can see that I've got this version right here. You can then go to the Microsoft Edge driver downloads page and get the driver that you need. So this was written quite a while ago because we're up to version 88 now, I think, depending on your machine. So I needed the 86, 86.0.622.61, uh, uh, I think, <laughs> was the one I needed. So I downloaded that and that went to my downloads folder um, and I unzipped it there. I then copied that into my drivers folder in my um, framework. So this is a C Sharp Selenium framework using NUnit. And I can see that MS Edge driver XE there. It also, you can choose the um, language binding of your choice. So obviously I'm using Selenium, which means in my code, you can see here in my test uh, test project, I have Selenium support version 4.0.0 alpha 5 and also Selenium web driver version 4.0.0 alpha 5. I installed the, because um, it's VS code, I installed the NuGet package manager and I was then able to go to the command palette and add a package and then search for this Selenium Web Driver MS Edge driver, which allowed me to select the version that I wanted, which was compatible with my version of Edge from the settings file there. So I was able to install that. The mistake that I made, I made so many mistakes I won't even go into, um, but one of them was I tried to t install this thing, Selenium Web Driver, Microsoft Driver. Don't do that it's for the old version of Edge, it won't work. So if you have this, what code do you need to get your test to run? As I say, all this code comes from um, Carlos Kidman, whose uh, TAU course on Selenium, C Sharp Selenium Automation is what I am using at the moment to learn and it's very, very good. So I added the Selenium Edge uh, package to my test, I created a um, web driver and I was able to um, add in um, options. This is the really important bit and this, this bit of code comes from the page that I was talking about before. So once you have all those things installed, you can scroll down here to use Chromium with web driver to drive Microsoft Edge you need to add the use Chromium option and set it to true. So that's what I tried to do. Um, 
note if you're using Selenium 3, that's when you have to use the Selenium tools for Microsoft Edge. You don't need to use this with Selenium 4. So unless you have existing test cases, um, if you're starting from scratch using Selenium 4, you don't need to install that package at all. Um, what you then do is insert the option, have the option as true, and then add your path to your web driver that you've got in here in the drivers folder and also add the options. So this will open a new or create a new driver instance of Edge and it will get the stuff it needs from the, get the web driver that it needs from this folder here and run that in Chromium mode. And once again, just to show you that running, I found the online stuff on this so confusing and I don't quite think it's it's uh, catching up with um, where we are in Selenium 4 yet. So I thought this might be handy for one or two people. So I hope it helps. Um, I will put this code on my um, GitHub page in due course. Um, my GitHub is Beth Marshall or Beth Asker, I think. Um, and yeah you're welcome to take a look at it. Thanks guys, bye.